Many years ago, a Japanese researcher by the name of Masaru Emoto proved that thoughts, feelings and other abstract forces left physical realities on water. He first came across Mr Emoto's research from an article in Seat Digest. His research showed the crystalline structures of water form and altered their appearance as a direct consequence of their particular environment. Crystalline structures were created by freezing the water and magnifying. Crystalline structures formed from water collected around densely populated or polluted areas show distinct signs of distortion and random unsystematic configurations like this. On the other hand, water was taken from pristine mountains. Streams and springs showed beautiful shaped designs. Even the effects of words on water is stunning. After writing certain words on paper for a word processor, Mr. Omoto taped the paper onto glasses filled with water. Upon inspecting the crystalline shapes in the water after freezing, the results were striking. Phrases such as thank you and I love you produce breathtaking crystals, whilst phrases like you make me sick, I will kill you produce distorted and nuclear looking results. The same results appeared after praying and shouting abuse at the water. He then tried different types of music. Happy songs and heavy rock displayed the same characteristics. It is clear that the water easily takes on the vibrations and energy of its environment, whether toxic and polluted or naturally pristine. I'm sick of you, I'm not making this food for anyone. Mr. Moto took it further and tried the soothing and nice words being spoken to polluted water and amazingly it created the sludge-like appearance into crystal forms. How does this relate to us on a daily basis? It's quite simple. From Mr. Omoto's work that we are provided with factual evidence that human vibrational energy, thoughts, ideas and music affect the molecular structure of water. Mr. Omoto's findings help prove the effects of cooking from scratch using fresh and organic ingredients. Was doing Nam Simran or remembering Gurbani. The Simran Gurbani and positive thoughts would pass through the food into those that eat it. Who Arjun Devji says, the food of the saints is equal to all treasures. Mr. Amoto's findings prove the Guru Sahib recognised the effect our thoughts and emotions, as expressed through Nam and Gurbani, would have on our food, as well as on other physical objects. The spiritual, mystical and unseen components of our world play a much larger and more powerful role than we may think.